Okay, so we're just going to have a little warm up first. Practice your breathing. So you want to have your feet on the floor with your knees bent. So feet flat on the floor, hands down by your sides. Okay, and then we're going to start by taking a nice big deep breath in. Tense the tummy muscles and then pull the bottom of your rib cage down towards your belly button so that you're engaging your core. So just hold that there and carry on breathing. Okay, so when we do the exercises, this is how you need to hold your tummy muscles. Okay, did you understand that, Kate? Yeah, did you get that? Yeah. Okay, so just keep breathing and holding those tummy muscles in. Okay, just relax everything. So try that again, take a deep breath in, tense the tummy, pull the rib cage down towards the belly button, hold it there, and this time I want you to squeeze your pelvic floor muscles. So if you don't quite know how to do that, imagine you're going to the loo for a wee, and you're going to stop your wee halfway through, okay? So that's how it should feel. So concentrate on your breathing, keeping everything nice and tight, and relax. Okay, so we're going to add in a little bit of movement now. So again, take a deep breath in, tense the tummy, engage the core, and then as you breathe out, now I want you to tilt your pelvis and press the small of your back into your roller. And then breathe in and just release. And again, breathe in, breathe out, tilt the pelvis, and breathe in, release. So we're going to do about six more, just mobilizing the spine, breathing out as you tilt, and breathing in as you release. So in Pilates, we never hold our breath. Each movement is a breath in or a breath out. Keep everything slow and controlled. There's no jerky movements, just nice controlled movements with the breath. Okay, last two. Breathe out, tilt the pelvis, and breathe in, release. Last time, breathe out, tilt, and breathe in, release. Okay, next one, take a breath, tense the tummy, engage the core, and then as you breathe out now, bring your right knee towards your chest, and then lower your right foot back down to the floor. Change legs, bring your left knee into your chest, and lower the foot back down to the floor. So you've always got one foot on the floor, so you're just bringing one knee at a time into the chest. So once you've got your rhythm, just concentrate on keeping the core engaged, and breathing. So you breathe out as you lift the knee and breathe in as you lower the foot back down. Try not to tense your shoulders, keep the shoulders relaxed. Okay, last two. So this is just mobilizing the hips. Last one. And relax. Okay, keeping your heel on the floor, take a deep breath in. Tense the tummy, engage the core, and then I want you to straighten out your right leg and flex your foot. Okay, now breathe in and slide that heel back to the start position. Now do the same on your left leg. Straighten your left leg and bring the foot back in. So again, when you've got your rhythm, I want you to try and keep your core engaged so you're squeezing your tummy muscles and pulling your rib cage down towards your belly button. So breathe out, straighten the leg, and breathe in, bend the knee. Breathe out, straighten the leg, breathe in, bend the knee. Okay, we're going to try and lift the opposite arm over the head now. So you're straightening your right leg, lifting your left arm over the head. Bring them both back to the start position and change sides. So reaching over the head and bring it back down. So keep your heel in contact with the floor so you don't fall off your roller. Try and keep the small of your back pressed into the roller. That will stabilize your spine a little bit more. Okay, if you feel confident enough, we're going to carry on with one leg at a time, but try and lift both arms over the head. So you really need to concentrate now on pressing the small of the back into the roller so you don't fall off. Keep the heel in contact with the mat. So you're 
releasing your tummy muscles. Last four. Breathe out, straighten the leg. Breathe in, bend the knee. Okay, we've got two more. And one more time. Okay, so finish off with your arms above your chest, palms of the hands facing together. Okay, feet on the floor, knees bent, and then we're slowly going to open the arms out to the side now. So keep the arms over the chest. Okay, and then you're just opening and closing. So when you open your arms, try and squeeze the muscle between the shoulder blades and the spine into the roller or into the floor. So if you've got a roller, you should feel the muscle having a nice massage. You might feel a little bit of clicking. That's just the knots in your muscles. Okay, last time. And then holding the arms above the chest again, we're going to do some small circles outwards. So both hands are circling outwards. Just small circles. Again, I want you to try and press the muscle into the roller. Okay, change direction, circle inwards now. Just pressing the muscle into the roller. Okay, relax and then take both arms all the way over your head and then bring them round in a circle. So I want you to try and do the biggest circle that you can. So full range of movement in the shoulder as long as it's comfortable. If it's painful, bend your elbows a little bit just to keep the pressure off the shoulders. above the chest again take your arms down to the side and bring them round so you're circling the other way now circling forwards so try and get full range of movement in the shoulders if you can okay last time and then again, holding the arms above the chest, I want you to reach up towards the ceiling with your right hand and turn your head towards the left. Bring them both back down to the start position and then lift your left arm towards the ceiling, turning your head to the right. Okay, now keep alternating left to right, reaching up as high as you can. This is a good exercise for strengthening your neck and your shoulders. Remember to breathe, don't hold your breath. Okay, last one. Well done, and then pop both hands behind your head. So you're going to rest the weight of your head in your hands, and then we're going to curl the top of the spine off the roller. So take a deep breath in, tense the tummy, engage the core, and then just tuck your chin under and peel the top of your spine off the roller. And then slowly curl back down again. So do that again. Breathe out, lift up. And breathe in, curl down. So remember your breathing. Remember to keep your core engaged. Try not to pull on your neck, just relaxing the weight of your head in your hands. So your neck shouldn't feel uncomfortable. So you're lifting each vertebra one by one. Trying to get the spine to move nice and freely. Okay, last two. And one more time. 
That's good, well done. Okay, we're just gonna relax the hands down by our sides. Now, palms down. Bring your heels nice and close to your bottom. And we're gonna lift the hips off the roller now. So take a deep breath in, tense the tummy. And then as you breathe out now, just peel your bottom off the roller and lift your hips as high as you can. And then slowly curl that spine back down onto the roller. And again, breathe out, curl up. So again, you're lifting each vertebra one by one. And the same when you put your spine back on the roller, try not to come down in one big lump. Try and get that spine to move nicely. So you're breathing out, lifting up, and breathing in to curl back down. Last four, breathe out, lift, squeeze your bottom as well, and breathe in, curl down. Last three, breathe out, lift, squeeze, and breathe in, curl down. Last two. One more time. And relax. Okay, if you've got a roller, you can put your roller to one side now, just slide off your roller slide it to the side and then just lie on your back with your head on your pillow so that should feel quite nice now if you've got no spine your back should feel really flat okay so if you pop your feet and your knees together hands down by, by your sides quite take them wide take a deep breath Tense the tummy, engage the core, hold it like that. And then as you breathe out now, I want you to take both knees down to the right side. Now keep the core engaged, breathe in. Bring the back to the middle. And now to the left. Side to side with the knees, concentrating on keeping the core engaged. Especially when you bring your knees back. Remember to breathe, breathe out. Breathe in to the middle. Okay, last one. And rest. Okay, we have a little stretch now. So if you bring both knees into your chest, pull them in as far as they'll go and gently rock from side to side. So we're going to start with the 100. We are going to lift the head and shoulders off the mat. If you feel you need to put your head down at any time, that's fine, okay? So we're going to come into a tabletop position. So you need a 90-degree bend in the knees, okay? And then we're going to lift the head and shoulders and stretch the arms forward. I'm going to count the 100 for you. We're going to breathe in. Tense the tummy, okay? Lift yourself up as high as you can. Tuck your chin under and reach the arms forward. Okay, so I want you to breathe out now and pulse. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe in, two, three, four, five. Breathe out, two, three, four, five. Breathe in, two, three, four, five. Breathe out, two, three, four, five. Breathe in, two, three, four, five. Breathe out, two, three, four, five. Breathe in, two, three, four, five. Breathe out, two, three, four, five. Breathe in, two, three, four, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, breathe in, two, three, four, five, and rest. Was that right, Mandy? Yeah. yeah? <laughs> Bring the knees in and just gently rock from side to side. Is everybody okay? Yeah? Okay, so we're gonna go back to tabletop. Imagine you've got your calf muscles resting on the top of the table. And again, we're gonna lift the head and shoulders if you can. Take a deep breath. Engage the core, lift yourself up, and then I want you to bring one knee into the chest and extend the other leg away. So this is one leg stretch. Now, the lower you take your leg towards the floor, the harder you can make it. 
So if you have it really low, it's much harder. If you have it higher, you can make it a little bit easier on your back. Okay, so it's up to you. Just work at your own pace. Try and lift the head and shoulders as much as you can, tucking the chin under so you can really feel it. Have a rest if you need one. Just do as many as you can comfortably. Keep breathing. So each movement is a breath in or a breath out. Point your toes if you can. Squeezing those muscles in the lap. Okay, last two. And then bring both knees into the chest and slowly relax your head down. Rock from side to side. And then we're gonna put both feet on the floor, coming into a bridge now. So we did this on the roller. No roller now, so hands on the floor. Bring your heels close to your bottom so you can lift yourself up higher. Ribs down, and then we're gonna push up, lift your squeeze your bottom. And then slowly curl back down. So remember, you're peeling the spine off the floor, squeeze, and curl down. Lift up, squeeze, and breathe in, curl down. Breathe out, lift, squeeze, and breathe in, curl down. And again, breathe out, lift, squeeze your bottom, and breathe in, curl down. Okay, this time I want you to try and hold it up and then just pulse your knees together eight times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Curl your spine back down. Again, breathe out, push up and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And curl down. Let's do one more of those. Breathe out, push up. And pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And curl down. Well done. Have a little stretch again. Bring those knees into the chest. Have a walk from side to side. Okay, and then come up to the tabletop. Put your calves on the table. Okay. So breathe out now, lower your foot to the floor, keeping that 90 degree bend in the knee, and as it comes up, the other one goes down, so both feet are moving at the same time, so we're not straightening the legs, keeping the knees bent, just tapping your toes, imagine there's a puddle of water on the end of your mat, and you're dipping your toes in that puddle, okay, so make sure that your core is engaged with this one, if anybody wants to make it harder, you can now straighten out your legs. So you're doing scissors. Okay, if you feel uncomfortable, lift your head and shoulders off the floor and stretch your arms forward. So nice and slow, don't go too fast. Keep breathing. So bent knees or straight legs. Last two. And rest. Well done. Bring the knees in. Have a little rock from side to side. Did you all feel that? Yeah? Okay, on to one circles now. So if you put and then we're gonna arms hands down on the floor by your sides. Take your right leg straight in the air and point your toes. So if you've got problems with your hips, if you bend your knees a little bit, it does make it easier. So see how you get on. So we're gonna take a breath, tense the tummy, engage the core, and then I want you to draw a line down with the toes and then circle that leg around the outside. So it's like you're drawing a capital D shape. So the bigger the circle, the harder you can make it. If you're struggling, just do smaller circles. So if anybody wants to increase the level, you can lift your left leg off the floor and it will make it much harder. 
So the left leg comes into tabletop. Try and keep the top half of your body nice and still without scrunching your shoulders up. Okay, pause. Take a deep breath in again. Tense the tummy, engage the core, and then we're gonna circle that leg around the outside and draw a line up the middle. So we're going the other way now. So remember, the bigger the circle, the harder you can make it. So work at your own level. Remember to put your le left foot back on the floor if you're struggling, if you've lifted it. One more. And rest. Bring both knees into the chest. Give him a hug. Okay, change legs. So we're going to take the left leg straight up in the air. Right foot on the floor with the knee bent. Point your toes if you can, hands down. Deep breath. Tense the tummy, engage the core, draw a line down with that left leg and then circle around the outside. So breathe in, draw a line down, and breathe out, circle. Breathe in, draw a line down, breathe out, circle. So if you're having trouble with your hips, remember you can bend your knees slightly and do smaller circles. Well done. Pointing the toes, squeezing the muscles, down your legs, down your thighs. Remember, you've got the harder option of lifting your right foot off the floor if you want to make it harder. That's two. Okay, port. Take a deep breath. Tense the tummy, engage the core, and then circle around the outside and draw a line up through the middle. Breathe out, circle. Breathe in, draw a line. Keep going. If you need a rest, have a rest. And bring both knees in. Give them a hug and rock from side to side. one you've got three options level one easy keep your feet on the floor level two tabletop or level three leg straight so you decide we're going to lift the head and shoulders off the mat pillow to one side hands behind your head okay so take a breath tense the tummy engage the core tuck under breathe out lift up breathe in Breathe out, lift. So if you're doing the hard one and you're finding... If you're still finding it too difficult, put your feet on the floor. So remember, don't pull on your neck. Just curling that spine off the floor, lifting up as high as you can, breathing out and curling down. And again, breathe out, lift, squeeze. Breathe in, curl down. So try and do four more if you can. Breathe out, lift. Breathe in, curl down. Okay, last two. And one more time. And rest. Okay, stretch the legs nice and straight now. So take your arms over your head and just have a nice long stretch, making yourself as tall as you can and still breathing. Okay, bring the arms down, bend your knees and then roll over onto your side and then onto your front. So we're lying on our tummies now. OK, 
Okay, so we're going to work the muscles in the backs of the arms and work on the mobility in the spine. If you have got problems with your lower back, please be careful with this one, okay? Just start really gently and work your way up. So pop your hands underneath your shoulders. So you want your head looking straight down at the mat. So keeping the neck in line with the spine, take a deep breath. And then as you breathe out, just use the strength in your arms to peel yourself off the mat. So you're coming up into a cobra and then curling your spine back down. And again, breathe out, curl up. So imagine that your body is paralyzed and you've only got your arms that work. Okay, relax your body completely and just peel yourself off the mat. So you're breathing out as you push up and breathing in as you curl down. Breathe out, push up. Think about what you're doing with your spine, like a snake, moving each vertebra one by one. So you should be feeling it in the backs of your arms now as well. Okay, try and do two more if you can. Last time. And we're gonna hold it up on this last one and come onto your hands and knees. So you're in a square shape let your head drop, round your back, suck your tummy in and push your hips forward. So you're like a humpback bridge. So this is a cat stretch. Okay, just relax, stay on all fours. And then we're going to lift the knees, both knees at the same time, off the mat about two inches, not too high. Okay, so eyes down, take a breath, curl your toes under, tense the tummy, engage the core, and then just lift the knees just a tiny bit and lower them down. And again, lift them up. So again, this is a shoulder and neck exercise. You will feel it in your thighs as well. That's an added bonus. So breathe out, lift. Breathe in, lower. Breathe out, lift. Breathe in, lower. So you should be feeling it now. Let's do one more. Perfect. Sit your bottom on your heels. Then I want you to stretch your arms forward as far as they'll go. Relax your head down. And just gently now press the hands into the mat. Lie down on our front again, and this time, come onto your elbows. If you want to make this one a little bit easier, you can do it on your hands rather than your elbows. Okay? So, easy level first. We're going to come up and lift the body, but keep your knees on the mat, so into a plank. Breathe in. Tense the tummy, and then just lift your bottom. Take it all the way back. So, we're keeping the knees on the mat to begin with. And then bring it back down, flatten your bottom, but don't put your tummy back down on the mat, okay? So you're hovering off the mat. Okay, one more time. Take the bottom back and hover. Okay, just relax. So if you are comfortable with that, we can, you can do that again, or you can make it harder by coming onto your toes. So this time you're gonna lift your knees as well. Okay, so when you're ready, take a breath, tense the tummy, and then lift your whole body into a triangle, and then bring it back and into a plank. So you're flattening your bottom without sagging in the middle. And again, into a triangle, into a plank. And again, 
again. So these are quite hard, so if you want to have a rest, have a rest. Just do as many as you can. Three to go. Last two. back down. Cobra yourself back up and again come into a cat stretch. So just stretching out your lower back. Push the hips forward. Let your head drop. Okay, let's go back onto our tummies. Put both hands on the floor underneath your forehead. So you're going to rest your forehead on your hands and then we're going to lift the chest off the floor, not too much. So again, this is for your lower back, so be careful. So when you're ready, take a deep breath, tense the tummy and then as you breathe out, just lift your chest as high as you can, keeping your neck in line with your spine and then relax the forehead back down. And again, breathe out. So I want you to concentrate now on squeezing those muscles in the bottom of your back. So you have to relax your bottom. Try not to tense your bum cheeks. Okay, if some of you have got quite strong backs, you could lift your hands off the mat as well if you want to. So that's gonna make it much harder. So breathe out, lift, and breathe in lower. So keep your forehead on your hands and just lift the arms as well. So concentrating on relaxing those muscles in your bottom so you can really feel it in your lower back. Breathing out, lifting, and breathing in to lower. Last one. Okay, have a rest and turn your head to the side. So we're going to work the other way now. So this time we're going to lift our legs off the floor. So try and get your knees to lift without bending them, okay? So you're going to keep your head resting on your, on your hands, point your toes, take a deep breath, and then as you breathe out, lift both legs off the mat as high as you can, squeeze your bum, and then just pulse your feet together as if you're clapping. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So keeping the legs straight, breathe in, tighten, breathe out, lift the legs, and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. And again, breathe in, tighten, breathe out, lift, and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, rest. One more time if you can. Breathe in, tighten, breathe out, lift, and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax, well done. Okay, let's cobra back up, use your arms, and then this time we're going to sit into a prayer stretch. So you want to sit your bottom on your heels, walk your hands as far forward as you can, relax your head down, and gently just press the hands into the mat. Okay, come up now into a seated position. So if you struggle to sit up straight, you can sit on your pillow, your blocks. Okay, if, if you're not comfortable sitting with your legs crossed, you can come up onto your knees. If you're not comfortable on your knees, sit on your bottom. Just choose a position that you're comfortable with. 
So you need to think about your posture, okay? So we're gonna just bring the arms out to the side. If that's too much, you can cross them one over the other if you prefer, or you can even say a prayer, even easier. Okay, so nice straight back, relax your shoulders, take a deep breath, tense the tummy, engage your core, and then we're gonna turn, keeping the arms out to the right. And breathe in, back to the center. Breathe out to the left. Breathe into the center. This, so this is spine twist. Breathe in, so concentrate on keeping your core engaged. Pulling the ribs down. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. time. Stay where you are. Bring your hands together. Open them out. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Hands together. And squeeze. So you're really squeezing the shoulder blades. It's working on the muscles in the top of your back. Last one. And then just relax the arms down and roll your shoulders back. Okay, and we're gonna sit in a straddle now. So on your bottom, again, if you feel that you're slouching, put your pillow underneath your bum if you can't sit up straight. So I want you to take your legs as wide as you can comfortably. So your knees need to be completely straight. If your knees are bending, you need to bring your legs a little bit closer together, okay? Try and flex your feet, and we're going to do the saw. So taking the arms out again, take a deep breath, and then as you breathe out, take your little finger towards your opposite little toe. So it doesn't matter if you can't reach, but that's what you're aiming for, okay? So remember your breathing. So this is to stretch your hamstrings, and those are the back of your leg at the top. So don't force it, it should be a nice stretchy feeling, not a snapping feeling. So just ease your way into it, breathing out, reaching, and breathe in, sit up tall. Well done. Sitting up tall in between each one, straighten the spine, reach. Straighten the spine, well done. So you should be able to get a little bit further now. Last two. And one more time. And take the arms out. How are we feeling? Shall we? Let's do some circles backwards now. So squeeze the muscles in your shoulders. If you're in agony, you can stop but only if you're in agony. Okay, let's go the other way now, circle forwards. How's it feeling? Have you had enough? Yes? Okay, you can rest. Slide your legs together now and then just give them a little shake. Wake your legs up. And then we're gonna sit sideways on the mats now. So feet on the floor with your knees bent. So if you give your, hold on to your knees with your hands. So we'll start easy, level one, and I'm gonna increase the levels. It's up to you, if you don't want to increase them, that's fine. So sit up nice and straight to begin with, take a deep breath, tense the tummy, and then as you breathe out, tuck your chin to your chest and make a C shape in your spine. So press your spine away from you as far as you can. And then breathing in, curl up and straighten out your spine again. Okay, do that again. Round the back into a C shape. And sit up tall. So remember to breathe. Breathe out all the way. And breathe in to straighten. So if you want to increase the level now, you're going to let go of your knees. And just roll down as far as you want to go. So you might only want to go to there. 
and then come back up again. Or you might want to go all the way down to the floor. So have a go at going all the way down and see what happens. So before you come up, you need to take a breath, gauge the core, tuck your chin under, and then control. Sit up straight. So if you had to fling yourself up, then you're not quite ready, okay? So slowly back. If it was hard, just go as far as you can. So it needs to be controlled, okay? So round the spine and curl. So if you're more comfortable doing it with your legs straight, that's okay. If you prefer. So breathe out all the way up, control your breathing as well. Breathe in all the way down. Okay, have a little rest. Bring your knees in, give them a hug. Straighten out your back. Squeeze all the muscles in your back. Shall we do rolling like a ball? I'm a bit scared of doing it on here. Don't laugh if I fall off. Well, you will, yeah. Okay, those of you, those of you who don't want to do rolling like a ball, if you're not happy doing it, you can just put your hands behind and just rock backwards and forwards like that instead, okay? So we're gonna start by holding on to the fronts of your legs and just try and balance. So lift your feet off the floor. I'm just gonna go forward a bit just in case. Okay, so when you go back, you need to make sure that you round your back. If you, your back is straight, you're just gonna do a flop, okay? So breathe in, tighten, and then round your back and then just roll back and forwards without touching the floor, okay? So as you get better at it, you need to control it so you can slow it right down. So it's good for the circulation in your spine. One more. And rest. I didn't fall off. Could have made some money out of that, couldn't we? <laughs> Sit up tall, squeeze the muscles in your back. So you should feel your back tingling a little bit now. Okay, so we're gonna lie on our side now. So if you have your heads that way and your feet that way, so you're facing forward. So you need to make sure that you get your head and your neck comfortable. So you can either rest your head in your hand and rest your elbow on the floor, or you can stretch your arm out, put your pillow on your arm and just rest your head like that, okay? So bend your bottom leg and then we need to keep your top leg straight and make sure that your hip bone is pointing forwards. If it's pointing up to the ceiling, you haven't got your hips in the right position, okay? So make sure that you're nice and straight. So we're gonna flex the foot, so pull your toes towards you, take a deep breath. Tense your tummy, engage your core, hold it there, and then just lift that leg up and down. So nice and slow. Breathe out, lift, and breathe in lower. And again, breathe out, lift, breathe in lower. Well done. So try and keep your knee cap pointing forwards. Don't twist the knees. Still squeezing your tummy muscles in. Three to go. more time. Okay, good. Point your toes now if you can. And then we're going to circle backwards. So keep the core engaged and just do small circles. Backwards first. Squeezing the tummy muscles and breathing. Change sides, circle forwards. Just small circles, keep breathing, holding everything in, control. Are we feeling it yet? Yes. Yeah, shall we stop? Yes. Okay then, relax. 
legs. So we're gonna give the hip a little stretch now. So bend your knee, hold onto your foot, flex your foot if you can, and then just gently push this hip forward, your top hip, push it forward so you can feel the stretch down the front of your thigh at the top. Okay, just hold it still. Okay, pull that leg back now so you can feel the stretch in your hip flexors. So it's a little bit higher up now. So this is a good stretch. If you sit on a chair a lot, if you do an office job, this is the opposite of sitting down. Are you all right, Betty? Yeah, just a little bit. Oh. Okay, relax and then push yourself up swizzle round so that your heads are that way and your feet are that way so you're still facing forward so same again resting the head in the hand or the arm stretched out so bend your bottom leg top leg straight and we're going to flex that top foot so remember you need to have your hip bone pointing forward hand in front take a deep breath tense the tummy engage the core and then lift that leg up keeping the knee forward try not to twist so you're breathing out lifting up and breathing in lowering down well done try and keep the foot flexed if you can last two and one more Okay, pointing the toes now, breathe, tense, engage, and circle backwards now. So if you wanna make it harder, you can take that top hand away from the floor. So your tummy muscles have to work a little bit harder. Okay, change direction. And circle forwards now. Have a rest if you need one, just do what you can. Listen to your body. Nearly there, last three. And rest. Well done. Have a stretch. So hold on to your ankle, flex your foot, and then you're going to tilt the hip forward so you can feel the stretch down the front of your thigh. How are we doing? Are you all okay? Yeah? Okay, pull that leg back now so you can feel it in the hip flexors. now so if you get your balls lie on your back put your pillow under your head and put one ball under each bum cheek okay okay so lying flat on your back so you want to get it right in the middle of your bum cheeks So when you're ready, bring your right knee into your chest, hold on to it, pull it into the chest, and then slowly straighten out that left leg, flex the foot, and if you can, just lift the left leg slightly off the floor. So keep pulling that right knee into the chest. Just hold it there. Okay, relax the left leg onto the floor and then put your right calf on the table so it's a 90 degree bend in your right leg hands on the floor and then take your right leg out to the right so you can feel the ball pressing into your right bum cheek okay so hold it still if your leg is shaking just hold lightly with your hand you can hold your leg if you need to if your hips hurting OK, 
Okay, slowly bring that right leg back to the middle and take it over to the other side. So you're now going to drop your right knee over the top of your left leg. Keep the shoulders on the floor. And then if you want to, you can lift your left leg up and down. So you can feel the ball pressing into your left bum cheek. If it's too painful, too much, just hold it still. Okay, relax. Both feet back down. Just adjust your balls. And then bring your left knee into your chest. So we're just going to do the other side now. So pull the left leg into the chest. Straighten out your right leg. Flex your right foot and just hover your right foot off the floor, your right leg off the floor. So keep pulling that left knee into the chest. And then relax your right leg back down onto the floor. Then you want a 90 degree bend in the left knee, as if the calf is on the table, hands down, and then take your left leg out to the left. Again, you can hold your leg with your hand if you need to, if it's uncomfortable. So you should feel the ball pressing into your left bum cheek now. slowly bring that leg back to the middle and then take the left knee over the top of the right leg so you can either just stay in that position or lift your right leg up and down if you enjoy the pain Okay, relax, and then take your balls a little bit higher up now, and then bring your right knee into the chest, hold around the back of the leg and gently pull it towards your chest. So you should feel the stretch in the back of your leg at the top now. You want to get your leg as straight as you can. Just relax your toes. Gently keep pulling that leg a little bit further. If the balls feel uncomfortable, just move them into a different position. If you feel that they're sticking into your bone, just make sure they're on the muscly bit. Crease the stretch if you can. Without forcing it, it should be a nice stretchy feeling. Okay, and then we're going to cross the right foot over the left knee. Okay, make sure the side of the foot rests on the front of the thigh. And then just lift your left foot off the floor so it's pushing your right foot towards your chest. So keep pushing a little bit further if you can. your shoulders, don't tense them. Slowly relax that foot back down. Both feet on the floor and then we're going to go for the hamstring stretch on the left leg. So left leg up, hold around the back of the leg if you can reach. And just gently pull it towards your chest. Keep breathing. Relax your toes. And then increase the stretch bit by bit.
cross the left foot over the right knee, so the side of the foot resting on the front of the thigh, so it's not sticking over the edge. Okay, and then when you're ready, lift the right foot off the floor, so it's pushing the left foot towards the chest. the stretch if it feels comfortable. If it's painful, just ease off a little bit. Okay, relax. Put the feet back down. <clears throat> and then if you get your balls, lift one shoulder and pop the ball between the shoulder blade and the spine. So as close to the spine as you can get it. Okay, and then lift the other one and do the other side. Okay. All in. Take both arms up. Okay, feet together, knees together. I want to drop both knees to your right and your arms and your head to the left. And then just hold it there nice and still. So you're in a, a kind of a Z shape. So. Okay, come back to the center and go the opposite way. So knees to the left, arms and head to the right. center and then just raising both arms now over your head go as far as you can comfortably and just try and relax into the balls now try and let the balls sink into your muscles keep breathing so again this is good for your posture if you've been sitting at a computer all day take your balls to work with you and just do a little bit of this it really helps it's like an instant cure. Try not to tense, just relax. to your sides and then we're going to drop both knees to the right roll over onto your side first and then push up onto your hands and knees so in a square shape okay so I want you to take your right hand through the gap in the arm and the leg with the palm facing the ceiling and then see if you can get your shoulder and your head just to rest on the floor. Okay. And then to increase the stretch, just gently press your forearm into the floor. Don't press too hard though. side so you're sliding the hand through the gap with your palm facing the ceiling okay and then gently press the forearm into the floor and come back onto all fours. Oh, what happened to my hair? Okay, so curl your toes under, and 
then we're going to lift the knees off the floor and see if you can get your legs straight. If you can't get them straight, take your feet a little bit wider. Okay, so lift yourself up, straighten the legs. So take them wide if you can't get them straight. And then I want you to drop your head through your arms towards your thighs. So you're in a pyramid. Okay, so you should feel the stretch in your calves, all down the backs of your legs, and in your back and your arms as well. To increase the stretch, gently try and lower your heels down a little bit further. Okay, take a deep breath in. Squeeze your tummy muscles and then I want you to walk your hands towards your feet without bending your legs if possible. And then round your back into a C shape and just let your arms hang and just gently let the arms swing in circles. So make back rounded. Don't keep it straight. So it's a nice curved spine now. It's little circles. slightly, pull the tummy in, take a breath, and then slowly uncurl your spine. And then standing up nice and straight, just roll your shoulders backwards. Come down on the floor, I'm a bit scared up here. Roll the shoulders back. Now just give your feet a little paddle just to stabilize the blood pressure. Well done. And then we're going to step wide with both feet, toes out, cross the arms, take a deep breath in, and then stretch up high, squeeze all the muscles in your back, and breathe out. And do that again. Take a deep breath in. Big stretch, squeeze, and breathe out. One more time, big deep breath in. Stretch, squeeze, and breathe out. And that is it, you are done. Give yourself a big clap, well done. Is everybody okay? Yes, no problems. So I'll see you next week. I'll automatically book you on unless you tell me otherwise, okay? It's better to tell me if you're not coming, yeah? So I'll see you all next week, well done. Um, we're gonna go out of the... Um, side entrance yeah i'll open the door for you now